Hi friends, I welcome you all at Crack Grade B. As you know that we are covering government schemes and uh, we are now going to start the scheme from Ministry of Skill Development. In this video, we will discuss these three schemes that is PMUA, Sankalp or Stripe and uh, this is lecture 1 for this Ministry of Skills and Development and all the schemes related to this ministry, we will try to cover all the schemes in upcoming 2 or 3 lectures. I mean to say, we will cover all the schemes in 3 lectures from this ministry. So, our first scheme for today is that is Sankal and uh, full form of this scheme is Skills Acquisition and Knowledge Awareness for Livelihood Promotion. In some exam, you will find that they can ask you question that Sankalp scheme is related to which ministry, which field. So, first of all, this scheme is related to, this scheme is related to uh, skill acquisition or skill and it is launched by the Ministry of Skill Development and its full form is Skill Acquisition and Knowledge Awareness for Livelihood Promotion. Now, we will come to the aim of this scheme. This scheme is to address the ongoing challenges like bringing about convergence, increasing quality in skill development program and making them market relevant and accessible while ensuring private partnership in the context of short training. You can understand the aim of this scheme. For example, government is uh, uh, long, uh, running a program related to e skill, but this e skill program is launched by the government or run by the government with the help of the different different program. Different different program. So, what happened? This different different program will not aim or not target the, not complete the actual target set by the government for the skill development. So, this program that is Sankalp was launched to convergence all the program that was running for skill development by this Ministry of Skill and Development. They will try to infuse quality. For example, if any program is run by the government and it is not up to the up to the mark or its quality is very low, then this Sankal will try to infuse quality in skill development and in last, they will try to make all the program market relevant. For example, if any person has taken any degree or learn anything from an ITI that is, uh, uh, that is a technical institute in, uh, in our country, then this program will try to uh, help this ITI person or the program or the uh, the training which he has taken from this ITI institute market relevant. So, these are the three target. It will converge all the program. It will improve or infuse quality and it will make all the program market relevant. So, it is the aim of this scheme. Friends, it was launched in 19 January 2018. Right. And it was implemented, government was planning to implement this program period till March 2023. It means it was program which was run between 2022 to 2023. Now, there are some feature of this program. You will try to understand what is the feature of this program. First of all, it, it is an outcome oriented project. And the outcome orient, or, oriented means if any program is running. For example, uh, if a person has done ITI from any institute, then its ITI is how much useful for him. It will matter. It doesn't matter he has completed ITI. If he has done its apprenticeship, if he has completed its ITI and if he has got placement in any industry, then this program result on this area. It will not focus upon only that someone has completed it, its ITI. That's why it is called, it is outcome oriented project. This project focus on the overall scaling ecosystems covering both central MSD, NSDN, NSDC and 
स्टेट एजेंसीज एंड आउटकम विल बी मेजर्ड थ्रू डिसबर्समेंट राइट एंड इट इज अ लिंक इंडिकेटर एग्रीज बिटवीन एम एस डी एंड द बैंक विच आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट समन हैज डन सिक्स मंथ ऑफ कोर्स फ्रॉम अ कौशल विकास योजना देन दिस सिक्स मंथ कोर्स इज हाउ मच यूजफुल फॉर दैट पर्सन द फर्स्ट हैज ही हैज गॉट सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम दिस इंस्टीट्यूट in which field he has done he has completed any apprenticeship if it is related to its uh, uh, its program or its placement or how much wage he has got during this training program or after completion of this program so this is called linked indicator and it is the agreement between the ministry of uh, msd and the bank according to this dli indicator this msd and the bank will coordinate between themselves and release fund and it has been designed to operationalize the sub mission under the national skill development mission whatever mission which were running under this uh, uh, national skill mission it will also help in operationalization of this mission India International Skill Center are being set up to train for overseas placement. So there is a provision of overseas placement under this Sankalp scheme. Now, what is the funding pattern of this scheme? Actually, it is a World Bank assisted program, and it is a centrally sponsored scheme. So it is a centrally sponsored scheme, and under which, and it is assisted by the World Bank. Remember this. It is assisted by the World Bank, and World Bank is giving how much amount? That is five hundred million dollar, and it is equivalent to three three double zero crore in Indian in Indian rupees. Under this, it will give the component two fifty million in each cases for the program of the result. How they will uh, measure the result, which I have told you earlier, and uh, there are. two components under this program that is program funding or technical assistance so he will give that 2 million each for program uh, program for result of this program now what is the role of the state and what is the role of the industry under this state will states will contribute 100 million and industry will contribute 75 million dollar for this program so this is a funding pattern it is a centrally sponsored scheme assisted by the world bank world will give this much amount and state way and industry will give this much amount for this program now there are three key areas that is a result areas on which this program will work its first key result area is it will strengthen the institutional at central state and district level it will give the quality assurance of skill development program and in last it will include the marginalized population in skill development program so these are the three it will strength uh, strengthening of institutions quality assurance and inclusion of the marginalized population in skill development development program it is the main or aim of this sankalp scheme now they have targeted that they will include the marginalized people they will uh, strengthen the institute or they will uh, give the quality assurance of skill development but how they will do so there are some major interventions done under this scheme these are the major intervention the first one is the state skill development mission through state incentive grants district skill committee through mahatma gandhi national fellowship program and capacity building training gram panchayat by bringing skill training and certification within their ambit sector skill councils by linking them with opportunities for industry skill manpower connection industry and this national skill development corporation being an important implementing partner of pilot project in last national instructional media institute by augmenting resource through their management of 
MGNF that is Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship Program. So these are the major intervention done under this Sankal program. So friends, this was uh, all from uh, this Sankal. Now this is the Stripe program, and it is somehow uh, like this Sankal program, but there is some difference between these two programs. First of all. A STRIPE program is related to skill development and it is launched by the Ministry of Skill Development and its full form is Skill Strengthening for Industrial Value Enhancement. Friends, this Sankalp and STRIPE, these, is not, these are the very important program from this ministry and you have to remember the full form of this program that is STRIPE, it means Skill Strengthening for Industrial Value Enhancement. Now, what is the objective or what is the aim of this project? Actually, the main aim of this program is to improving the relevance and efficiency of skill training. How they will do it? They will improve the ITI and apprenticeship program run by the government. So, this is the main aim of this uh, program. This, uh, the important point you can note from here is that it is a central sector scheme and it half of the funding of this scheme is done by the World Bank in the form of loan assistance. The budget from for this scheme is 22,000 crore and uh, the financial agreement was signed between the government of India and International Bank for Reconstruction and Development on 19th December 2017 and the closing date of this project is November 2022. So this program is still under, uh, is still run, uh, run by the government and the major funding is uh, done with the help of central or with the help of the World Bank. Right. There are four key focus area which this program mentioned or focused. First, it will improve the performance of the ITI. It will increase the capacities of the state government to support ITI and apprenticeship training. It will improve the teaching and the learning in this institute. And last, it will improve and broaden the apprenticeship training program. These are the key focus area for this program. Now our last scheme for today is that is PM Yuva and uh, its mean Yuva Udyamitra Vikas Abhyan. It is also known as Yuva Udyamitra Vikas Abhyan that is PM Yuva. Now the important point you can take from here is that it is also a centrally sponsored scheme and it is Launch, it was launched on focusing on entrepreneurship, education and training. Its period is, it was launched for 5 years from 2016-17 to 2020-21. It was launched on 9th November 2016 and its budget or outlay was rupees 499.94 crore. Its objectives are it will educate and equip potential and early stage entrepreneurship. For example, if a person or a student uh, uh, was studying in our country, it, if we consider that the person is starting thinking about business from 10th class, then from 10th class or up to their graduation, they will not get any any uh, study, any program that they are able to generate some entrepreneurship at this level that is 10th or between 10th to graduate level. So this program will focus or give or educate or give a potential at early stage of entrepreneurship. Second, it will connect entrepreneurship in enabling network of peer, mentor, funds and business services. For example, if there is an industry, it is an school, it is an university, it is an uh, teacher, mentors. 
so he will try to connect all the members industry school colleges or some peers so it will give connect all these members so what will they what they will do they will develop entrepreneurship in the people by engaging all the stakeholders at one platform now this support entrepreneur through entrepreneurship hub they will develop e hubs and uh, they will help in development of entrepreneurship through this e hubs in the person and in last it will catalyze a culture shift to encourage entrepreneurship in our country generally people uh, try to study they will graduate from btech mba anything they will do but they look for the jobs but this program will catalyze or will develop a culture in our society and encourage and uh, it it will develop a culture in our society that the people will attract towards the entrepreneurship and this program will encourage to people to join to learn about the entrepreneurship in our country its main aim is to provide we have target that we will develop entrepreneurship in our country but how will you achieve this so this pm yojana yojana aims to provide a entrepreneurship education and training through this 3050 project institute 22000 institute of higher learning that is colleges universities premier institute they will develop 300 school that is 10 plus 2 it will they will develop 500 industrial training institute that is iti they will develop 50 entrepreneurship development centers across the country and they will cover 14.5 lakh students over the period of this 2016 17 to 2020 21 now what are the there are some key features of this program how they will achieve this uh, they will whatever they target whatever target they have set for this program so there are some key features of this program the first is they will educate and equip potential at early stage entrepreneurship which i have told you earlier so what they will do they will develop and deliver entrepreneurship education to all citizens free of charge through massive open online courses and on other online programs second they will connect entrepreneur in enabling network of peer ideas mentors incubator finding i have told you under this objective of this program so what happen they will additionally student get easy access to robust network of peers mentors incubators funds business services through online platform which i have told you earlier that these are the peers business uh, mentors incubators funds nbfcs banks and industry they will put all these members all these these stakeholders at one platform so it will help in uh, development of entrepreneurship in our country by enabling these network at one platform and it will also coordinate and support entrepreneurship through entrepreneurship what happens the scheme is implemented through one national entrepreneurship and coordination hub five regional hubs and 15 national or uh, nodal hubs so they are de developing e hub at national regional or nodal uh, level and last social entrepreneurship catalyze a culture shift to support aspiring what happens i have told you in objective that elective courses on social entrepreneurship offered in institute of higher learning covering over 4 40 institute so these are the key feature objective and how they will uh, achieve the objective of this program these are the details of the objective so friends this was all from my side today 
These are our star performers which have been selected in RBI Grade B in 2020 exam. Friends, we are providing CB Grade A course, video course at rupees 2499. And uh, if you want to purchase our combo course, you can purchase it at 3499. For more update, you can visit our website www.crackgradeb.com and register there and subscribe for the courses. In uh, RBI Grade B course, which we are providing at rupees 2499, we are covering all these topics. So, friends, thank you and happy learning. Padte rahiye, mehnat karte rahiye.